This is Dan Miller here uh, doing a testing on a UHP system uh, for WS Darley. This is a 13 horsepower Honda engine uh, coupled to a 10 GPM at 1400 PSI high pressure system. We've got about a three gallon foam tank here, 100 gallon water skid. Uh, just going to go through the operations here of how we handle and work with these pumps. <clears throat> on these Honda engines, you're going to see the controls located on the side of the engine for starting. Your throttle and your choke are located so uh, simply just turn this over, choke it if you need to, and start your engine. Once starting your engine, if you're going to be running foam, we have a foam dial right here. This would need to be switched on to foam tank. Um, any reason you would need to flush your foam system, you would simply turn to foam flush. This pulls water out of the foam or out of the pulls water out of the water tank here and just circulates water through this high pressure pump uh, to relieve of any foam that's in the system. Uh, this is the CAT Precision Foam System. You can do anything from 0 to 6%. This is the high pressure system. If you need to adjust your pressures, uh, right now I have this system set at 1400 PSI. You can simply reduce the pressure or gain a little bit extra if, by twisting this knob here. Down here you're going to see a pressure relief. Uh, for any reason that the pump is pumping more than what you have it set at, it's just going to discharge water here. Uh, so that's kind of why you see the water and foam kind of sitting around the pump area. Uh, this port right here is a thermal port. So anytime that you're not flowing water and the pump's just sitting there running, if that water gets too hot inside that pump, you're actually going to see water start pouring out of this. It's just letting cool water back into the pump. That way nothing overheats. Start this thing up and see what we can do. If you need to switch it to a fogging nozzle, you can actually do that by twisting this knob here. The gun needs to be in a horizontal position to allow the ball to fall, to fall properly. Uh, once that's done, you can put it in a fog stream, 